How's it going everyone? Shayway here from Shayway Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your iPhone as a webcam just using a lightning cable. So with everything going on in the world, a lot of us are working from home and we're having to use our cameras, our webcams, basically using anything we can to video conference and just make sure that we're still being productive while we're being inside. Some people don't have the ability to go out and purchase a webcam or they may not have the ability to get the best quality of the one that they do have. So today I want to show you how you can use your iPhone to accomplish this. So the things that we're going to need to set this up is of course your iPhone, a lightning cable and a app called Epoch Cam. So before you download the app, I'm going to show you a little bit of an overview of it by pulling it up here on the website. So I was just browsing Elgato's website when I came across this. It's actually one of their banners that they have going on right now. This is it, the Epoch Cam. So this allows you to turn your phone into a webcam. So we're going to head and click Discover to learn a little bit more. And I thought this was really cool the way they have this. Of course, it's showing you can download it from the App Store. So if we scroll down here, it's going to show that this is going to work with your Mac or webcam, and it's going to work with OBS, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and mm -hmm. so these are a lot of the big things that you would be using uh, a webcam for. So it's awesome to see that they are supported. So I'm going to scroll down here and just kind of show you how this works. First off, we need to make sure that we get the app downloaded. You can use this link or you could just go search for Epoch Cam app on the App Store. And then we're gonna make sure to download and install the drivers on your computer and then connect your phone via USB. While we're going through this, I'm gonna go ahead and get the driver downloaded here. So I'm gonna click that I have the Epoch Cam and then we're gonna do Windows and we're gonna download this driver here. Once this is completely downloaded, we're just gonna hit open and we're gonna go ahead and install. So that was a super quick install for the driver. Now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and I'm gonna show you kind of how this works. So you can see this girl has a SLR camera and of course her webcam here as the way she's using it. And she's using this as a way to display the book. So she's getting two different angles as well as using a stream deck over here to switch in between them. Very cool. So it's also saying that you can control this without using the cable. Um, my assumption is the latency is going to be a, uh, a little bit longer so you may have a little bit of a delay if you are using Wi-Fi probably not that drastic but if you want the lowest latency possible you'd want to use a cable but you do have the ability to take it off and use it without one as this guy is doing right here very very cool so you can see here this guy is actually going to use this camera or the webcam as a way to get kind of a close-up shot of this uh, headphone pretty cool and I think this would be great for content creators that may not have the ability to have a second camera, this is a way that you can get another angle for your videos. So we've looked at it, it looks cool. Let's go ahead and get it downloaded and see what it looks like. Downloading this from the App Store, you can see this is called Epoch Webcam. I'm gonna take a screenshot and then post it in the video for you to see. We're gonna go ahead and get this downloaded and installed. So I now have it downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and just tap the app to open it here. And we're gonna follow the steps that it says. It says you need to download the PC driver. We know we've done that, so we can go ahead and click begin. We're gonna click next, next. We're gonna allow the camera and allow the network, of course. Click done. And just here at first, I'm going to use the, uh, the built-in Wi-Fi. So we're not gonna actually use the cable at first, just to see what that latency is like. So this has actually came up. I'm gonna move myself out of the way here. Down here at the bottom, Epoch Cam connected via Wi-Fi. So it's already showing up. I'm going to pull up OBS here. So I just added it as a source and wow. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. This is way, 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 way better than I thought it was going to be. The latency is not bad at all, guys. This is super, super cool. So uh, <laughs> the, the actual camera doesn't look too good. But I could see how the pe people could use this. I mean, honestly, and the 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 latency is not bad at all. This is great, guys. I'm sure you can fine tune the way this looks too. Oh, we can flip it around. Let's see what other options we've got here. Pro. So if you pay for it, it looks like you can get a you can remove the watermark, get 1080p quality. Uh, looks like there is wide angle support, a green screen feature. You can add a microphone in case you don't have a microphone. 
Guys, this is really cool. This is a, a really good option for someone that needs a webcam and maybe doesn't have the ability to go out and purchase one. They want to use what they already have, you know, spend an extra five dollars or in this case it says eight dollars so instead of going out and buying a webcam you can just use what you have this is this is awesome so we can see that there is uh there was a watermark down here at the bottom i'm guessing it just goes in and out um depending on the version that you have but uh there is the pro version that has all the other features guys i'm digging this i think that this is a great option for for anyone that's needing a webcam though so i'm gonna give this a thumbs up the color grading, I think, looks a little funky on here because I actually have my uh, camera color graded. So if I were to like pull this in, let's see if we just take off the color grading just to see if it looks a little better. Yeah, OK, so if I use the flat profile, you can see the coloring looks a little better here. Um, and of course, if you had this in 1080p, it's going to look a lot, a lot crisper as well. So uh, you can see the watermark pop up there. So that would not come up on the uh, paid version. This is the free version. So still awesome and a great tool to have. So guys, now that we have an idea of what it actually looks like, I'm going to show you how to add this to, let's say, Zoom, for instance. I feel like that's a, a very uh, well-known program. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and open Zoom on our computer. And then we're, I'm just going to go ahead and start a meeting just so you guys have an idea. Ah, and you can see I already got it set up. Basically, the way we would do this is down here in the bottom, you're going to hit this little this little button here. And this is going to bring up all the abilities to switch your cameras. Basically, this is what it looks like in Zoom, but in Teams, OBS, whatever you are using, it is seen as a camera. So basically, I'm, I've, I've selected it as Epoch Cam Camera, and that's what allows this to show. So if I were to pick up my phone here, move it all around, voila, I can use this as my webcam for anything I do for basically any sort of video conferencing. Uh, so hopefully this kind of helps you have a better understanding on how to set this up specifically with Zoom. Uh, it should be very similar with Teams and other programs out there as well. So I originally said that you want to use a lightning cable for this, and I still stand by that. I think that it's the more I think about it, it may not be such a latency thing as it is using your Wi-Fi to connect. So it's actually, if you don't have a very strong Wi-Fi connection, this could actually degrade your performance. So if you have the ability to use a lightning cable, it's probably still in your best interest to do so. But if you're in a pinch or you want to get a wide angle and you have a good internet connection, as you can see, the latency is not that bad. It's a lot better than I was expecting. So guys, this is the Epoch Cam by Corsair. It was available on the Elgato website is how I first saw it. Uh, but Go ahead and give it a try. It's a free download. And of course, if you like it and you think you may use this, there are some more features that you can get with the uh, pro version, including a green screen, uh, a microphone, and of course, removing that watermark as well as 1080p. So definitely worth checking out. So guys, I hope you found some value in today's video. If you did, if you would take a second just to hit the like button and actually get this video pushed out to other people that may find it interesting, as well as if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm coming out with content like this multiple times a week. I think this is the third video that I'm pumping out this week. So on average, I try to do at least two. So if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching the channel and interacting in the community. I appreciate the support that you guys give. Until next time, guys, my name is Shayway and thanks for watching Shayway Tech.